Hello TTC, Sun Scenario 6 here. What up, what up, what up? Syracuse fans, how we doing? Uh, coming to you live on a Sunday night after a long but rewarding weekend. A good spring game yesterday. Those of you who saw my video about the Syracuse spring game. Anyway, tonight what I'd like to talk about is something that has been going around a lot of Big East fan, fan sites, especially the Syracuse uh, fan board on scout.com. There have been a lot of threads about uh, possible conference expansion with the Big Ten and just the state of Big East football in general and what could possibly happen to the Big East uh, conference in football. Now, a little history of the Big East conference first. It was originally started as a basketball conference, so Big East football is, is relatively new. And uh, it was once a bigger conference, and... It stayed like that until 2005 when uh, the ACC raided the Big East and took with it Miami, Virginia Tech, and Boston College. And uh, with that, first of all, won a big rivalry for SU since Boston College is a traditional rivalry. And uh, it also took away a lot of the other good, a lot of the prestige teams. Miami, which won a national championship as a Big East team. And uh, Virginia Tech, who also who always is a good team. Shout out to Don V and uh, all the Virginia Virginia Tech fans in the in the TTC. Sorry. Um. Anyway, uh, now they're talking about potentially the Big Ten expanding or adding a Big East team to the Big Ten, and Syracuse has been heavily in that discussion for a couple reasons. One, because of its high of its uh, high-profile sports teams, two, because of its academics, and three, just because they want to add a new market to the Big Ten. I don't think I would want, would want Syracuse going to the Big Ten. However, with the state of Big East football currently the way it is, there's a very good possibility that the Big East will either dissolve and form a bunch of different... Uh, and, and form into a bunch of different conferences, teams being scattered all over the places. Um, and there's another possibility that the Big East may expand. Because right now, it's not. there's nothing really great to look at in the Big East, other than maybe Pitt, West Virginia, and Cincinnati. And Cincinnati may not even be that good anymore because Brian Kelly's gone. So... Without a doubt, it's definitely the, big, the weakest of the BCS conferences. And I don't think we'll ever see a Big East team going to a national championship anytime soon, especially with the strength of the SEC and the Big 12, especially the Big 12 South. That being said, I've seen, I've seen a couple different scenarios. Besides the Big 10, which people have talked about them potentially even expanding to 16 teams in the Big 10, there's already 11 there. There is also potential talk of expanding the ACC's football conference to 16 teams and taking Syracuse, Pitt, and UConn, among other teams, and moving them to the uh, Atlantic Division or the Northern Division of the ACC, which would in a, in a way be good for Syracuse because we'd get back our formerly conference rival with Boston College, even though now we've scheduled them out of conference for the next few years. It would be good to have it as a conference rivalry again. Um, two, we get a lot of the same Big East opponents, including UConn and Pitt and those teams, and also get back some of our old conference rivals like Miami and uh, Virginia Tech, and that would be a good thing. I think you know that that might be a good thing. And also, they talked about potentially moving Rutgers to the Big Ten. I could see that happening. However, Rutgers fans. You guys think you're on top of the world. Just wait until you get to the Big Ten. You'll be the Big Ten doormat. Hell, even Indiana will kick your asses. So, yeah, if Rutgers fans really want to push to go to the Big Ten, let them. Because they'll just they'll just act as a doormat for the rest of the Big Ten. And uh, additionally, where does that leave the other teams? Louisville and West Virginia. I mean, I think West Virginia may probably join the ACC with Pitt and UConn and Syracuse. And uh, that would just be for football, at least. I mean, the Big East would just go back to being a basketball-only conference. And then with Louisville and Cincy 
Potential Louisville may join the Big 12. Maybe potential Louisville will join the SEC. But will, is the SEC willing to expand? It, or is the SEC willing to get rid of one team to trade for Louisville? Now, shout out for Bill for Vols. Uh, Bill for Vols and I were talking about this one time, and he said that the only possibility he could see about Louisville joining the SEC is if they got rid of Arkansas. And Arkansas goes to the Big 12. I don't know if I could see that happening, but it's a potential. It's a potentiality because Arkansas is more well Midwest than in the Southeast anyway. And Cincinnati and South Florida also forgot South Florida. They probably go back to being mid majors. I mean. I don't know if Cincinnati will ever be able to get back to where it was the last few years because Brian Kelly's gone. We'll have to see how their new coach does. But uh, I don't know. Right now, the state of Big East football doesn't look good. And I honestly could see it dissolving within the next few years. I want to know what you guys are thinking. I want to know what you guys may have for possible scenarios. And let's hear them. I mean, I'd love to discuss this with you guys. And shed a light on something that I think is important in college football right now. Anyway, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for dealing with my mumbling and uh, my bad speech, but uh, it's late at night. What can you do? Anyway, that's all for me. It's the Sun Snare 6. That's my story. I'm sticking to it, and I'm over and out. Thanks for watching. Good night. Peace.